Hello, I am Dr. Rena Boss Victoria, Director of the Simulation Center in the Helene Poole School of Nursing. The Simulation Center is a cutting edge scientific resource with the latest advances in educational technology for nursing and clinical practice. When the concept of a simulation center uh, first came to mind, it was created to allow nursing students to have an opportunity to practice in a virtual environment, real life scenarios. That would prepare the student uh, to be able to provide care once they got into the clinical area with actual patients and allow them a larger window uh, to learn and to make mistakes before they actually go into the clinical area with patients. So it was really a, a brainchild of what can we do to have a better prepared Coppin student? The center provides a safe, non-threatening environment in which educators can promote critical thinking, enhance practice excellence, and ensure clinical competencies. By simulating real-life scenarios, the faculty can assess their students' handling of treatment options and comprehensive health management. If we're going to start this patient off of being normal first and then have him um, go into an asthma attack, at what point do they call it to contact the doctor? Okay. At what point are they going to get the doctor involved? So we need to have some type of simulation for that as well. What else? Conjunctivity? Yes. Okay. okay. Redness. Or yes. And also you check for anemia, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If, remember, it's supposed to be what? Pink. Okay. If it's pale, you suspect what? Anemia, right? Yeah. Okay, go the ahead. The simulation center consists of six okay. layouts, one for each area of clinical specialty in the curriculum. One adult human patient simulator is housed in four of the labs, and one child and one baby are housed in a pediatric clinical unit. The six is the health assessment laboratory designed for simulations of care management and team leadership with a small group of SIM clients. Its capacity is four to eight high fidelity human patient simulators. It also puts our faculty on the cutting edge of technology. Not, um, it's, it's a very expensive technology, and we were very fortunate to get uh, support from our congressmen, our legislatures, as well as um, stakeholders in the community to, to buy this equipment. But it provides uh, an opportunity for our, for our faculty to be on the cutting edges of technology, as well as advancing nursing care. Yeah, that's good. Okay, Mr. Carsby. Um, I'll be shining our, our light in your eyes, so just look straight forward for me, please, okay? okay? And because of the fact that we identify that this patient is hypertensive, according to the chart, right? Mm -hmm. When you look, you want to see if you see any um, hemorrhaging in the veins mm -hmm. of the blood, right? Showing that it's getting, it's getting worse or something, okay? It's called AV leaking. Go ahead. Right now, for a, a group of students to be taken into the clinical area in a hospital or practice site, the ratio is one faculty person to anywhere from five to eight students. If we could come up with a model or a plan that we could have a larger faculty student ratio, more students per faculty member, it would allow us to continue with the academic program expand our nursing enrollment and not have to depend on uh, trying to recruit additional faculty during a time when there was a nationwide faculty shortage. So with the simulation center it allows the student to run for a faculty person to run a scenario with a group of students and not have to be there to assess them or to evaluate them because it is recorded in real time. We record everything. We record the actual uh, visual we call, record the audio, we record all the patient's uh, vital signs, uh, their responses to the treatment that the student is, is giving the patient at that time, and that the scenarios are realistic to the point where the students 
forget that they're actually talking with the high fidelity patient simulator. They actually feel because of the reality of the virtual simulation that this person is responding to them. So it allows us to um, have that larger student ratio in the clinical area so that the, the real faculty could be out into the clinical area. And in reference to the airway, we want to make sure that they have some type of oxygen mask with the tubing okay. that, um, as well as a, um, what we call a, the Christmas tree for that. We also might want a peak flow meter as well. Um, we'll get suction set up. Just suction. Just we would need the suction set up, the um, canister, the tubing. Wow. This truly is a model for faculty development. It seems like other universities may want to partner with you at some point in time. They actually do want to partner with us. In fact, uh, we were the, uh, the site for the regional uh, simulator uh, conference that was held here at Coppin last summer. Um, people from all over the region came and we had an opportunity to show off our simulation center.